The multi-IO can also be used as a blind actuator in combination with the extension module 592. And in this video we will take a look at the parameterization in the EDS5. I am back in the EDS6. Now to add the blind functionality to the multi-IO we have to go to the parameters and again we have to go to channel, channel function 2 and the channel function 2 now we have to set to shutter actuator. With that the output 2 is already configured to work with the extension module 592 and now let us take a look at the options we have here. So first of all we can give it a name as we already know so window living room and below that we can enable the position calculation. So with that we will then specify how long the shutter needs to move up and down and with this specification the multi-IO will then calculate the position that the shutter is currently at. So I will enable it, calculation for shutter. Now you can see we have some additional parameters that appeared but first of all we have the behavior after supply power return. Again we can specify a defined state the multi-IO should enable after a power return. Then the send state, so the feedback, how often should it be sent, on change, only on read or cyclic. I stick to on change. And then below here we have four functionalities that we can enable. The emergency stop function is a functionality that allows the shutter to always stop, no matter whether an alarm, for example a wind alarm is active or not. So for example, there is a wind alarm, the shutter is moving up and we will use the emergency stop function. Well then we can stop the function even if the alarm should move the shutters up. Then we can enable scene functionality, again up to 16 scenes that we can enable. Then an alarm lock function, so this would be used for example for such a wind alarm. And then below that we have an automatic mode and with this function the shutter has two modes, the manual mode which would be used for the push buttons and then the automatic mode which could be used for example for a sun control shutter movement. So that an external controller would then send the specific heights the shutter should move to. Then below that we have a delay between the direction changes. So if we move the shutter up and immediately down well then the motor will stop for 0.5 seconds and we can also specify another time here. Then we can enable a stepping function which means with the short press when the shutter is not moving it will move for a short period of a time to be specific 500 milliseconds to allow a more precisely movement. So that's all the settings on this page. Now you can see there's also a second page and here we just specify the runtime of the client. So I will set it to 10 seconds. In reality you would now have to measure the time the shutter needs from moving up to down. And you can already see we have here an additional time upwards. With that it is already considered that the shutter motor normally takes longer to move the shutter upwards. And you can also see a proportion from maximum to minimum velocity. This also considers that the motor has different speeds with which it moves the shutter up and down. And with that parameter you specify the proportion of it. Now we come back to our group objects and we see four new group objects. First of all up down, step stop. Then we can specify a position the blind should move to. And last but not least we have the state object. So I will quickly add them to the group addresses. Simply copy and paste the group address. And also I will add a new feedback group address. And then we can already connect them. So up down to up down, stop to step stop and feedback to state. With that the multi-IO is programmed. Now to the push button insert. The push button insert is already prepared. So we have the up down group object as well as the step stop object. And with that we can program all modified devices.
Now that everything is programmed, I will open up the diagnostics and we will see if everything works as intended. And you can see, we move the motor up with the push button sensor, then we get the feedback, we stop it, we move it down, and again we stop it. And between that we always get the feedback of the Koenig's AP Multi-AO. And this is how you enable blind movement with the Multi-AO and the extension module 592.